With Indian Wells getting set to kick off, let's look at the favorites to win on the women's side of the tournament, kind of break down their draws and what have you. So just coming right out and saying who the favorites are, in my opinion, Iga Świątek, Irena Sabalenka, Coco Goff, Elaine Rabanc, and I know those ladies typically are the favorites in whatever tournament they're going to enter. Uh, but let's break down kind of what their road looks like, who has the best shots to win and whatnot. Let's get started with Iga Świątek, who I actually think has a very bad draw in this tournament. Now, she is the world number one. She's been playing great tennis as of late. We know when she's on, she can beat anybody in the world. So that's why I have her in this category. But looking at her draw, she's probably going to get Daniel Collins in her first matchup. Very tough opponent right there. That's somebody that gave her fits actually in the Australian Open. So we'll see what happens there. Now, if she's to get by her, she has Linda Niskova. Does that name sound familiar? That's because it's the woman that beat Iga Świątek in the Australian Open. Now, not to mention... Also on her side of the bracket, you have Ostapanko, who has beaten Iga Świątek, I believe, four times, and Iga has never beaten her. Uh, also, you have a few sleepers, maybe, like an Ans Jabbar, somebody who's been very steady over the years, hasn't been so good here in 2024, but still somebody that can give Iga Świątek fits. You also have other sleepers like Angelique Kerber and Caroline Wozniacki. So that's hard right there. Then if she is to get past all that, semifinals would have to meet Elena Rabankina. So very tough draw for the world number one. We'll see what she's able to do with that. Now, let's look at somebody else who I feel can make a very deep run in this tournament. Coco Goff, a big fan favorite there. She also has a tough draw, in my opinion, but she might be able to avoid the majority of it or maybe even get out of trouble all in general when you look at it. So when you look at Coco Goff's bracket, you have Quinwin Zhang, who's somebody who was an Australian Open finalist. Uh, they would have to meet further down the line in the bracket. Sam Sadova's a sleeper in there. Victoria Azarenka, two-time Australian Open champion, hard court specialist. Of course, this being on a hard court, she's there for Goff as well. Down the line, you have Irena Sabalenka or Jess Pagula maybe down there somewhere. But still, I feel like she probably is the favorite against all of those people. Can she avoid some of those matches? Those upsets, maybe. But that draw, maybe not the best, maybe not the cleanest, but I think very doable for Coco Goff. Now let's get into the other side of the bracket. Right, we'll go with Irena Sabalenka right now, who, in my opinion, has a walk-in, essentially, definitely to the semifinals. Anyway, very good draw for the world number two. Um, you have Carolyn Garcia on there. Not playing great tennis this year. Maria Sakkari also not playing great this year. Then you have Jess Pagula on that side. A lot of question marks there. She has a new coach. First really big tournament since getting that new coach. See how that all plays out there. Um, Shvitlina's on her side of the bracket. Uh, so maybe some maybe spots of danger there possibly out there for her, But I don't think so. I think she should have pretty much a walk into the semifinals where maybe Coco Goff away, so that should be a very good matchup. Now, last person to talk about here today, Elena Rabankina, who also, in my opinion, has a great draw. She has Anna Kalinskaya and Jasmine Palanini, two people that have been playing very good as of late, but still favorable matchups, in my opinion, for Rabankina. Outside of that, you have Vondrovseva. She hasn't really been playing super well yet this year here in 2024. Again, in my opinion, somebody that should walk into the semis. If she does get to the semis, then that becomes, is it Iga Świątek that gets out of that rough part of the bracket, or is it somebody else? So that maybe even favors Rabankina too. Is it Świątek off of a tough road, or is it somebody completely different that she's facing? And because of that, that's why I'm going with Elena Rabankina as the favorite to win this tournament. Now, she did win it last year, but I just really like this draw. Very favorable just to get to the semis, then going to be going against either Iga Świątek off of a tough road or somebody else as an upset coming out of that side of the bracket. Should be a pretty good solid set of four to at least make the finals, you would think. Then obviously, we have to take care of business against whoever comes out on the other side, who at that point, they're all playing great tennis. But really like Elena Rabankina's draw the best, and she's been playing very consistently here in 2024. So that is my person that I think has the best shot of winning this is Elena Rabankina. But those are the favorites for the Indian Wells tournament. Let me know what you guys think of this tournament in general and who you guys think is going to come out on top.